Well, it kind of looks like uh, they tile directly on the slab. So there you have it. Denset, tile, slab. Crazy stuff right here. We have no idea what this is. If anybody knows what this drain is called. So you want the dry pack, the consistency of a uh, forming a snowball here. Let's see. Yep, just like that. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new project. Let's show you inside. Of course, we staged everything. Covered furniture, bed, side tables, protected the carpet. Here is our bathroom. Now this is a homeowner's insurance claim. There was a major leak in the shower. They found the leak underneath, outside in the backyard. So homeowner's insurance claim. What we're gonna do is very simple. Tear out this shower here, move the vanity, tear out the floor tile as well. And then we are installing new floor tile, large format, as well as building them a new shower via Schluter and uh, custom frameless glass. It's gonna be a, a very fun and simple remodel. Okay, our first step is simple. Remove the glass enclosure, remove the shower head, the trim kit, and then knock out this travertine shower. Okay, we have our glass panels out. Took out the shower head, it's puddling up here. And as you can see, there is absolutely no pitch to the drain. Level, puddling water here. The only pitch we have is from back in this corner, no pitch right below the shower head. Okay, it looks like we have some concrete board, wonder board behind this stone tile. And it looks like the seam right here, there is no waterproofing on the seams or the screws. We have a little bit of mold here. Let's uh, pull the tile off the wall, this curb, and see what's underneath. As you can see, the wood is rotted out here. Zero waterproofing. Looks like we have hardy backer, quarter inch hardy backer on top of the curb, no waterproofing. I have a feeling that uh, this failure is just simply zero waterproofing. No red guard, no aqua defense on the curb, which is one of the most vulnerable parts of a shower. I'm curious to see what's underneath the shower pan. Let's open her up. And there is your curb. So it looks like uh, we have no pan liner. There is our culprit. The pan liner should wrap over this curb. saturated with water. Mind you, they have not used this shower for at least three to four months. Well, it kind of looks like uh, they tile directly on the slab. Obviously, the bathroom floor is the same height as the shower pan. No dry pack, no pan liner, no waterproofing. A drain and tile with a big curb. This side of the shower pan with thin set. So there you have it. Thin set, tile, slab. Crazy stuff right here. Okay. Looks like the water damage ate away at the insulation here. Obviously this is treated wood. Your bottom plate will not rot away. 
they found damage on the exterior of the house, right back over here. So water was getting down through the pan, obviously. Tile and especially stone tile and thin set are not waterproof. And it was simply leaking right underneath this bottom plate here. Here we go, guys. Tile directly onto the slab. No pan liner, no waterproofing, no uh, dry pack. Let's remove it. Okay, here we are, back on day two. What we have to address is this drain. As you can see, this is the shower pan. Thin set and tile was installed on this. No waterproofing, obviously. The drainage went under the bottom plate here, out the side of the house. And we have a drain here that we need to address. We're going to knock out all of this concrete here all right, let's take a look at this uh, drain that they installed for this shower pan. We have no idea what this is. If anybody knows what this drain is called, leave that in the comment section below. We're very curious. All right, well, there it is, folks. We do have a three piece system here. This is supposed to work with a pan liner. They simply buried it into the concrete. Time to cut it out for our Flow FX drain body. All right, so here we are. We're going to customize our curbs. We like small curbs, three inches by three inches, give or take. Nice and low profile. We're dropping down some thin set before we lay our dry pack. So curb gets stuck first, second step dump our dry pack, get our perimeter, get our proper pitch and slope, quarter inch per foot to our flow FX drain. Here we go. using our double bucket method as usual. Auger bit here. Mixing up our dry pack. So you want the dry pack, the consistency of a uh, forming a snowball here. Let's see. Yep, just like that. 